Hello girls, I want to welcome you into another one of my makeup tutorials. I hope you will enjoy watching this one. It's Beyonce Inspire from her latest music video Countdown. I have decided to recreate this look because I fell in love with the colors that she wore on her eyelids and yeah, I love green, I love yellow. Uh, they are super pretty and it seemed like a very fun look to create. So yeah, it's not something that I usually do. I'm more towards, you know, neutrals and everyday, very quick, simple and easy and very wearable makeup looks. So I usually focus on that, but I just wanted to uh, do a little bit of a twist and bring something new to my channel. Today I am going to create a little bit more fun look, a little bit more creative look as I've said and still I believe it's uh, appropriate for going out, you know, for some sort of a special occasion. There are parts of this world where spring is just starting right now so I believe this is very appropriate look. Maybe you could do it uh, less dramatic for every you day. You can definitely transform this look into more appropriate for every day. So still definitely wearable look. So stay tuned and enjoy watching. First I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer and I'm going to use this one by Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Sin. This is such a pretty champagne color. I'm going to use it onto my eyelid and bring it up on my eyebrow bone. I'm going to use my MAC 195 brush. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to apply another eyeshadow base by NYX. It's uh, in the color White Pearl. And this is just a white base that I'm going to apply all over my lid. And this is really going to enhance the green color that I'm going to be putting on later. Take my black eye pencil, I'm going to use Avon Super Shock just because it's very soft so uh, it's going to be very blendable and I'm actually going to draw a line on my crease area. It doesn't have to be super precise but make sure that it's not too thick because you're going to blend this color Now we're going to take a pencil brush I'm going to use Makeup Forever Professional 14S and basically smudge this one I'm taking my 88 eyeshadow palette from Born Pretty Store I'm going to use this brown color and mix it with the black using the same Makeup Forever Professional 14S pencil brush. And now we're going to apply this color just on top of this line that we have created. Just to intensify it and deepen it a bit. I'm going to take my MAC 217 blending brush and now I'm going to mix other two colors from my Born Pretty Dead eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using this orange one. This orange one right here. And I'm going to mix it with the same brown that we used. This right here. And I'm going to apply this color just above of the dark eyeshadow that we have created in my crease. And don't bring it all the way up because you don't want to leave some space for the highlighter color. I'm going to bring some more orange into it.
Now that's done, I'm going to take my Kiko Makeup Milano blending brush. This is a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to take this champagne color. And I'm going to apply this just under my eyebrow. I want to kind of mix and blend all these colors together. Once is wearing this really bright kind of neon yellow, almost green eyeshadow color on her eyelid. So I'm going to be mixing two colors. And yeah, first I'm going to use this color right here from my Born Pretty palette. And it's just a shimmery yellow with the tint of green, I would say. I'm going to use my flat eyeshadow brush from Born Pretty Store and apply this color all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to go in with my large eyeshadow brush from Echo Tools and I'm going to take this green color right here and apply this on top of the yellow color. I'm going to take my very small eyeshadow brush by Barbara Hoffman exclusive and I'm going to pick up the yellow color, this really bright but matte yellow color. This color right here. And I'm going to apply this in my inner corner because Beyonce does have this really really bright yellow color in her tear duct. Now you're going to put a white eye pencil on your waterline and I'm using this one from Avon Color Trend. I believe it's like a limited edition. It's actually white and brown, but I'm going to use only white for this. So I'm color. applying this in my waterline. For this super dramatic look. And as you can see, I'm bringing this color out in my outer corner, just angled towards up. Taking the Avon Extra Lasting Eyeliner Pencil in Black with Felt Tip Eyeliner. And now I'm just going to draw a line on my upper lash line and then on my lower lash line as well. But let's go to the upper first. to do the same thing on your lower lash line. Now it's time to apply your fake eyelashes. I am not going to do that because I have been using Lash Growth Accelerator by Kiko Makeup Milano so I'm really happy with the length of my eyelashes right now. That's why I'm not going to be using fake eyelashes. I'm just going to be using lots of different mascaras for the best results as I always do and I highly recommend to use uh, to combine two, three, even four different mascaras. So for my upper lashes I'm going to use four different mascaras. 
first coat of L'Oreal Voluminous, second coat of Dior So Iconic, third coat of Avon Super Sock and I'm going to finish everything off with um, Lancome Hypnose Drama. So yeah, four different mascaras. I'm not going to film everything because it would take so long but I'm going to go right ahead and do that now. And on my lower lashes I'm going to use this Superficial Lash Mascara by Hourglass brand. And I really like it, as you can see the applicator, it really allows you to just separate and define your lashes really, really well. Now I will apply my mascaras and I'll see you in a minute. Girls, the eye makeup is done. We have a Beyoncé inspired look. And let me mention the product that I use on my lips. I use this Kiko Makeup Milano lipstick in a shade 92 and it's a really really gorgeous nude lipstick and it really really suits well uh, even uh, fair skin tones because sometimes a very nude lipstick looks kind of off on me because it's just I'm very pale and nude lipstick it just doesn't look good but this as I've said it's very pretty and very flattering color so definitely recommend this one and on top of that I used NARS and this is a famous Turkish delight lip gloss To create a perfect base, I used Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in a shade Sand 30. I always go for the shade Sand when talking about Maybelline foundations. They are just the most flattering on my skin tone. On top of that, I used my MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish in Medium Plus. And I'm almost out of it. Mm. I'll have to repurchase it definitely. I really loved this and my erase paste in number two by benefit this is a great concealer I do have some spots today so I needed it. other than that I used this bronzer just matte bronzer in a shade sunny from New York color Deborah blusher in shade 12 cacao and a little bit of blush in shade 6 Blushing Petal, and this is by a brand Jane. So that's it, those are all the products that I used on my face today to create the perfect base and to create this makeup look. Yeah, and this was a tutorial. As I said, it is a little bit more complicated than what I usually do, but definitely worth trying it out because I believe the result is super pretty. I hope you enjoyed watching. As always, you will be able to find more pictures and detailed description of the products that I used on my blog, so go ahead, check it out. I will put the link in the info box. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests, feel free to uh, mention it to me and I will try to do it as soon as possible. Please show your support by subscribing. It means a lot to me. Ciao, ciao from Italy.